Hi, I'm Dr. Sheila Mako, a glaucoma fellow at the University of Alberta. I'm from University of Nairobi in Kenya, and I'm here working at the University of Alberta with Dr. Karim Damji. Okay, so Dr. Mako, tell me, you know, why you're here and how you got here. I'm here to do a, a glaucoma fellowship, and I got introduced to Dr. Karim Damji back home when he came visiting. And um, basically, yeah, because glaucoma is a very big problem in Kenya, it's the second leading cause of blindness. And uh, we have a, quite a huge population that has the disease. And I'm here so that I can learn new skills, new surgical skills and new clinical skills so that I can go back home and help my people. Okay, so what are some of the most important things that you're going to take back, the knowledge? Okay. I've learned quite a lot of uh, uh, surgery. I've done quite a lot of surgery. I've learned new types of surgery that will benefit my the patients back home. I've also learned to do various types of tests to diagnose glaucoma and to treat it, new approaches to um, uh, giving them medication and following them up. So, and all this, I'm, I also teach uh, resident students at the University of Nairobi, and I'm also going to transfer the knowledge and the surgical skills that I've acquired to them. Okay, so why is this so important? Because I heard you saying that, you know, people in Kenya, they're presenting at a very advanced stage of glaucoma compared to Canadians. Yeah, this is important because, unfortunately, we don't have um, uh, quite a, a, a good health care system like you have over here. And uh, patients back home are not able to afford medical care, they're not, afford, they're not able to afford like consultation fee or surgical fee because they have to pay it out of their pockets. So most of these patients can um, come to the hospital when it's quite late with quite advanced diseases. Disease, most of the time one eye is already blind from glaucoma. So I'm hoping that whatever I've learned will be able to impact uh, these patients and we'll be able to probably catch them earlier and also educate the public early enough so that they can be able to come to the hospital before it's too late. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Marco. All right, you're welcome.